And I would like to welcome on stage Society. Please give a round of applause. Hi, guys. What if I told you that 90% of worldwide effort in one particular area is actually a waste? 90%. It is commonly acknowledged that 90% of IT developers are being occupied at the moment somebody approaches them. And if you think about it, it totally makes sense. As IT developers are pretty demanded nowadays, and we don't have the necessary tools uh, uh, letting us uh, distinguish available ones from the rest. So, my name is Thomas, and I'm here to tell you quickly about Aciety, a network of professional IT companies helping them to swap clients and developers among themselves. Guys, please meet Jared. He is from a booming IT company, and he gets another task of finding five reliable iOS developers. And Jared starts the search. He tries freelancing platforms, IT, HR, outsourcing agencies. He tries personal networks, but experiences different types of problems, such as not finding developers at all, not finding available developers, and simply many of his options contain big failure rates. So in general, Jared is frustrated. What we're doing is actually helping people like Jared and thousands of them. We're building a network of professional IT companies in which they swap clients and developers among themselves. First of all, our network is based on professional IT companies. That means on professional developers as well. Our platform, our solution is, is also based on a search engine, which is capable of distinguishing appropriate and most importantly available specialists. And finally, I want to stress that our platform removes the conventional bidding system, which we believe is the root cause of many problems, as many professional companies don't bid. They simply have enough clients and don't want to participate on competition on price. Therefore, in many cases, they simply leave such marketplaces as Elance and Odesk. We remove the bidding, we exchange it with a search engine. So what we're offering, Jared, is actually hiring and starting working immediately. We're, work we're offering big scope of competences, and most importantly, we're offering less risks and more control over his project. So Jared is happy. Actually, he's so happy that he decides to take his dream journey to the South Pole naked. <laughs> But coming back from the South Pole, uh, coming back to Lithuania, we do have here a network already established. We do have more than 20 companies. We do have more than uh, 300 developers in our manually managed network. And we are launching our alpha solution of the search engine and platform tomorrow. Uh, we do have more than $60,000 raised in seed funding. We do have a passionate team behind that. And currently, we're looking for extra $40,000 in seed funding. We're looking for consultants, mentors, and we are looking for sales partners. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention and just remember, 90%. Thank you, Society. Uh, usual, do you have any questions, Jury? Hi. So, explain me this. The whole world right now is going towards crowdsourcing. They're disrupting the whole market of uh, you know, by bidding, and that's kind of what's kind of winning the war. And you're going all the way back and going, like, hey, we're not going to do that. How, how do you see that? How are you going to do something what everybody else thinks is wrong? I mean, uh if you, if you think about crowdsourcing, in many cases, crowdsourcing is based on freelancers and individuals. What we're doing is going the B2B direction. We're targeting professional companies and developers inside of them. And as I mentioned here, uh, we have pr pr concrete value propositions to them. We have our proof of concept case study where they actually start developing, start swapping services, and so on. Uh, did I answer your question? Uh, I guess. Yes. Okay. Okay. So b companies are usually really afraid of losing their their developers. So how do you tackle that problem? Okay. Basically, we'll have one thing: agreements. Second, we'll have selected companies within the network. Third option. Uh, third thing: uh, we won't uh, have contacts of particular developers. We'll provide with contacts of, of of their PMs. But finally, and most importantly, a solution which came from the companies themselves is the three settings of privacy. So basically, one option will be complete 
privacy and companies using the network internally for themselves, using the platform for themselves to identify their, the availability of their developers internally. Second option is actually letting them to choose which companies they want to deal with and sharing these resources together this, with those companies only. And the third option is being open to everyone. So basically, for the biggest skeptics, we offer internal pool, uh, a solution to manage their internal resources. And that's, that's the way they want it to be tackled. So we listen to our customers. Uh, sorry if I uh, lost in somewhere in the presentation. What's about trustworthiness? Um, you know, if, if there's going to be a bad developer in the, uh, in the network and uh, I would tender it and he would allow the job, what's, what's then? So basically, at the moment, we are selecting the, the companies based on our criteria, on the criteria other IT companies suggested. But with time, we will build the metrics of performance, how other companies perform, and the search engine will be able to distinguish uh, better ones from the rest. And if someone fails, we'll have a failure in, in its track record, and you will be able to see that in its profile. So b basically, you will still be able to hire that professional, but you will get a clear warning that one time he has already failed so it's one thing second uh, second thing if we have major flaws or something we simply remove such companies from the network that's why the network is of selected companies only and uh, they have to uh, obey to the rules uh, and last question yeah sorry we don't have time so thank you Asaidi. cheers <laughs>